In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the Synaptic Package Manager, which is another way of adding new and third-party applications to your Ubuntu Linux system. The Ubuntu Linux distribution, like most Linux distributions, uses the idea of software repositories, online servers of new software available to download and install. Uh, rather than going to uh, third-party websites and downloading software directly, it's all handled through the Linux distribution itself and through their repositories. One way to install new software in the Ubuntu Linux system is using the Add Remove tool found under Applications. But this tool does not show all the applications that are available for download. It only shows the most popular ones, the most common pieces of software. There's another tool called Synaptic, which shows everything. The Synaptic Package Manager is, a, is found under Administration in the System menu on the menu bar. Starting the Synaptic Package Manager brings up a dialog box asking for the administrator's password. And once that is entered, the Synaptic Package Manager itself will start. Now, the Synaptic Package Manager is, is a little similar to the other graphical tool, the Add Remove Applications tool, but it has a lot more information. Now, the Synaptic Package Manager has a list on the left-hand side of application categories by repository. The repositories, which can be found under Settings, and repositories, and it can also be found by going up to System, Administration, and Software Sources. Both of those go to the same graphical tool. The software repositories are given nicknames in Ubuntu. There's Universe, which is the community-maintained open source software. There's the main repository, which is the main base default software. There's the Multiverse, and then there's Restricted. Now, the Synaptic Package Manager, as you can see, shows categories of applications, base system, communication, and, and more, editors, email, the GNOME desktop environment, and it also shows it by repository, multiverse, universe, and the like. The list of packages for that particular category are listed in the uh, upper half of the screen on the right-hand side. For example, right now, all applications are highlighted. And so this list right here shows all applications that are available. And not every one is, a, is an actual usable graphical application. There can be libraries and system utilities and, and all kinds of very low-level pieces of software, documentation, all kinds of things. In fact, if you look in the status bar at the very bottom, it says over 20,000 packages are listed. We have a little over 1,000 packages are installed. Zero are broken, zero to upgrade, and zero to remove. So uh, scrolling through this list, one can see a... a fairly significant grouping of packages and software that is available to install. There's also a search function where one can simply type in the name of something that one wants to search for and it can be installed. For example, if one wanted to look for some kind of a Tetris game, one could type in Tetris and it will search through all the available packages and, and install packages uh, to see what is available, and I can see now that that was mistyped. So there are several different versions of Tetris that are available, and you can see that there's two columns. There's the installed version and the latest version. If there's nothing under installed version, that means it's not installed. If, if there is, that means it is installed. So for example, this version right here, it shows you that there's a Tetris within the GNOME games, which is the default group of games that we have here. So there is a Tetris game in there that's part of that GNOME, GNOMETRIS. I think that's it right there. But uh, this listing of software shows that there's many others also available that, that can be added to the system. Going back to all brings you back again to the list of all applications. Now, most users probably will not need to go into this Synaptic Package Manager too often, but there are times when it may be needed. For example, once one has enabled the restricted repository, then some of the restricted video drivers can be found. For example, NVIDIA drivers and ATI drivers and the like. There are packages available to install those drivers. As you can see here, there's also documentation that 
I would encourage everyone to read on how to install that. But if one had an NVIDIA driver, I think all that needs to be installed is this NVIDIA-GLX soft piece of software. Now, the way to install the, any particular software is to right-click on it and select Mark for Installation. And it will also add any additional pieces of software that are required in order for that software to work. And you pretty much always need to accept what they have and click Mark, and those additional packages will be marked for installation. You can see the icon has changed from a star to a little arrow showing that it is scheduled to be installed. And once one is done selecting the packages for installation, one clicks Apply. Again, you may have to type in the administrator password, and the, the, the packages will download and install into the system. So that is a summary of the Synaptic Package Manager that's available for Ubuntu Linux. It's a great way to uh, add new software to the system. Once one gets used to the idea of adding software through these tools, either the Add Remove tool or the Synaptic Package Manager, it becomes very easy to maintain, update, and improve your Ubuntu Linux system. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.